In this video, I'll show you exactly how I'm going about planting my dividend tree garden. We're currently generating over $4,400 a month and we're planting trees every single month. Stick around. I know you're going to like this one. Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Well, hey, look, today I'm going to show you the process for which I'm buying dividend paying stocks. I call it planting my dividend trees. That's right. I take covered call profits. We buy dividend paying stocks so we could have a dividend tree grove. And that dividend tree grove is going to pay me monthly cash dividends. It's really that simple. And right now, since we've started this, I'm now making $4,400 a month passive income. It's the simplest of ideas. We write covered calls or we sell cash secure puts and we take that premium profit and we buy a dividend paying stock. Now I'm going to show you how I'm doing it and whether you like the dividend paying ETFs or not, this is what I'm doing and I like them and I love creating covered call premium profit and then buying the current stock that I'm planting. Now I'm going to show you both the covered call trade and I'm going to show you how I'm planting these trees. So let me answer a couple questions right off the bat. I have been collecting 1500 shares of my favorite monthly dividend paying stocks. So that is what we're trying to do. We're going to go ahead and plant a tree that would be 1500 shares of a particular dividend paying stock. 1500 is just a number I like because it's somewhere in between having 2000 and 1000, right? So I love 1500. It's my goal. And that's what I do. Currently, we're planting a tree from the yield max family, AMDY. Now, AMDY, we've talked about this. It's a yield max ETF where they uh, use AMD stock. They sell near-term calls against AMD stock and they generate a monthly dividend and they pay that out to AMDY shareholders. So that's the current dividend tree we're working on. Now I'm going to show you a trade that I just did using TNA uh, for a covered call, right? And I made money and we then bought AMDY. But let's break down the bigger picture here with my plan. See, it's like an evil, greedy money plan. But this is my idea of wealth and this is how I'm doing it. So let me set the stage here. So this is a very crude spreadsheet of the idea. And I think if you've been with me a little bit now, you know, we do collect those covered call profits and then we dump them into a current stock that I'm buying. Now we started this back in mid February where I bought PYPY and that was the plan with every covered call profit. I would buy PYPY. You can see with my tracker, I created this little calculator. So every single time I would have profit in this column, we would go ahead and buy equal amounts of shares of the stock I'm buying. And like I said, in this case, it's AMDY. So I like to document that for the members. So you can see I have a nice little template. They know exactly what I did with the profit. Now, this is something everybody has been asking me. They, they say, hey, look, man, I love your idea. Tell us about the other ones that you have or the other ones you want to buy. Well, I'm going to show you the ones that I have right now and the ones we're going to buy. Now, stick around. I'm going to show you the process here. This right here is May 2024. And you can see that is May's dividend income from my taxable account and my IRA. Now, this is the dividend tree grove that I'm planning. But what I want you to understand is when I write covered calls in my taxable account, I go ahead and randomly buy any one of these. It's not necessarily a dividend tree grove that I'm planning over there. We're just adding to the existing ones. But in my IRA, this bad boy gets the dividend tree treatment. And you can see here how this is actually growing, man. This is insane. Where we went from just two years ago, making about $4,500 a month in dividend income to now putting up numbers like 17,000. Okay. So this really does work and I'm funding it 100% by writing covered calls and selling cash secure puts. Okay. I haven't dumped any new money into this. We are just growing the pot. And when you do that, it's as if you're printing money and then you're putting it into a passive income vehicle. And I love it. I feel like I'm actually doing something that's creating wealth. 
And that's what it's all about at the end of the day. So here, uh, here's my current trades. I'll show you this before we jump into the process here. So here's our current trades. And you can see we have quite a few of them. And you can see quite a few of them that are expiring in June. We're going to have a heck of a June. These are all the potential profits from these trades. And I have a couple stocks sitting on the sideline. I need to get them in the game. This is a process. This is what we do every day. We come here, we write covered calls. When we have profits, we move them into the dividend paying stocks. And we do it again. We repeat, repeat, repeat. We don't stop. You know, somebody asked me the other day, when will it stop? It won't stop. As long as I can keep doing this, we're going to keep growing that dividend tree grove. So where that becomes passive income. You don't have to work because that passive income, those dividend paying stocks, well, they're paying your way. But you got to start here. Let's go ahead and talk about the process here real quick. Then I'll show you a very simple trade that we do. A very simple trade you can do. So here is the blueprint. It's a little rough, but uh, I'm going to work on this. But this is the blueprint for the plan. So the plan is simple. I have these dividend trees over here and they're already planted. So uh, part of this process is these are already planted. Now, just this past week, I was doing some numbers and I had the third biggest first week of a month ever. I went ahead and knocked down some $9,100 for the first week of June. Now this is writing covered calls and selling cash secure puts. Now from that $9,100, $97, I went ahead and bought $5,500 worth of AMDY. And you ask the question, well, where's the other $4,000? Well, I took some of that money and I bought some extra leaps call options that I'm trading. And sometimes I just like to round down where if I make $1,350, I may just buy $1,200 worth of the stock just so I have some loose cash on the side. If I have to buy back an option, you have to have a little bit of loose cash or else they won't let you do it. Uh, generally, I don't keep that much cash on the side, but I don't always put the full amount in this case, this month, $5,500 for the first week of June. So we're going to use the $5,500 number when we talk about me adding to this every single week. And this is where it gets a little crude. Sometimes we make more, sometimes we make less. And right now we're making more. So we'll go with $5,500. Also, I want you to note, because ULTY and YMAX, they will send their dividend out at the end of the month. We're going to go ahead and just give an approximate here as we go through the months. Obviously, this is going to change. And if you looked at the dividends they paid last month, I'm being very conservative in my payouts because ULTY actually paid out $1,900 to me last month. We'll go with 15 YMAX, I like that number around 1,096. That's probably where it's going to come in at. So we have hard numbers in the beginning because we have those numbers when the yield max funds distribute their dividends first of the month, and then we're using approximate numbers for the rest. So here we go. So what I'm doing is when I generate that $5,500 in cover call premium, we're going to go ahead and buy AMDY. AMDY is the current stock that I'm looking to try to uh, collect 1,500 shares. Now we start that process out by buying in the first week, if I were able to use $5,500, 318 shares. With our current dividend tree plants, the first three stocks, they are generating a dividend. So we drop that into the very first week. And you can see after the very first week, we've collected 429 shares. And we do this where every single week we drop in 5,500 in profits and we go ahead and we buy these stocks. Now we have that second splash and that happens around week four. And again, we're looking to buy 1,500. And what we have then is we have carryover cash because we may find ourselves not buying as many shares on the final week. So we're going to carry that over to the next month's dividend stock. And as you can see, I've already made the decision. We're going to get involved with YMAG. So now the numbers change a little bit here because now AMDY, based on their last distribution, is paying me more. So you can see the very first dividend tree splash that's going to buy stock in YMAG is some $3,400. Again, we keep that $5,500 purchase every single week. You can see how this starts to add up where we take the carryover money as well and we add that to the very first dividend splash 
And then of course, we get another dividend splash from dividend trees on the second half. And next thing you know, we find ourselves in two months, we now have two dividend trees and it took us about two months to do it. And that's about where I'd like to be. But what happens is we start to escalate this process now because not only are we still generating the $5,500 a week, now what's happening is we're generating more dividends on a monthly basis. And you could see where we add YMAG's $1,000 a month. And you could see the very first dividend splash for that first week literally brings our total up to almost half of what we want to achieve. Now, you could also see something here that's pretty exciting, is that every single month we're increasing the monthly dividend by some $1,000. And that is absolutely awesome because by the end of the year, my goal is to make $10,000 a month. This is the idea. We take current dividend tree distributions and buy the current dividend ETF that we want to buy. And oh, by the way, real quick, the next three that we're going to buy, we're already in AMDY. We're going to get involved with YMAG. Then we're going to get JEPY. And then we're going to use AMZ, which is AMZY. These are high yielding dividend paying ETFs. And we're going to keep buying them with our cover call profits, cash secure put profits. Now, what I want you to understand, this is the miracle of the covered call. And now I'm going to show you a cover call trade so you understand what we're doing. So let's go ahead and take a look at this trade. This is my uh, membership and I'm getting a lot of people signing up. I probably get five to 10 people signing up every day. This is unbelievable because people want to associate themselves with successful traders. And I have proven to be that over the past eight years. And I'll tell you what, the numbers keep getting bigger and these ideas of using cover call premiums to buy dividend paying stocks, it resonates with people. Hey, at the end of the day, that's exactly what I did. When I joined the Navy, I immediately found the smartest people in the room and tried to hang with them because I knew they would motivate me, inspire me, so I could be the best that I can be. I get so many people that want to talk to me on the phone, do a Zoom call, they tell me at the end of the day, John, you have broken the code. You absolutely are getting it right and I wanna be a part of it. I'll tell you what, that is humbling, but what I'll tell you is we grind. I don't sit back and rest on my laurels. We grind. Every single day I wake up, we keep doing this because at the end of the day, we have to have that mindset that the bills don't stop. And because the bills don't stop, we have to keep moving. So members get all my trades, exclusive videos. You've heard it. If you want to join, I got a one free month offer. Would love to welcome you aboard. Here's a trade that we did with the poor man's covered call using TNA. This is a trade where we're using 3X leveraged ETFs using a leveraged poor man's covered call trade where we're using leaps call options in lieu of buying the shares, mainly so we don't have to use as much capital. Now, I'll tell you that you need to understand the poor man's cover call before you even get involved in this. And you need to understand 3X levers DTFs move 3X, uh, the index they follow. This one is TNA. It follows the Russell 2000. So we're getting 3X the juice on the covered call and we're getting juice because we're not spending as much upfront money to get involved with this trade because we're using a leaps call option versus buying the shares outright. You can see we had eight contracts on this trade and we went ahead and wrote a very simple covered call. We got involved when TNA was trading at 38.45. I'm gonna show you on the charts here, just, just hang with me. When TNA was trading in and around 38.55, we went ahead and dialed up the 40.50 strike. So what that means is, if you were to buy 100 shares of TNA at 38.45, that costs you about 3,845 bucks. You then give somebody the right, but not the obligation to take your shares away from you at 4050. You're going to collect that stock appreciation move because you bought them at 3845. They're taking them away from you at 4050. Well, this is a 14 day trade and they paid me a buck 22 in covered call premium. This premium is multiplied by the number of shares you have. Well, in this case, I have 800 shares because I wrote eight contracts and we are using juice on top of juice because what I'll tell you is this. Here's a 3X leverage ETF, 
And we're using the poor man's cover call where we buy a leaps call option versus buying the shares. Now, in this case, I was going to make $976 if the stock were to move to the 4050 strike. I have my shares taken away. Well, in this case, that didn't happen. The stock either moved sideways or lower. And my option that I got paid $1.22, it fell. Right, it fell because if 4050 is our strike and the stock does not move towards 4050 in the time frame, and remember that was 14 days, the option is going to lose value. And that's what it did. It lost value such where it was trading at 29 cents. We went ahead getting paid $1.22. We bought it back for 29 cents. We collect $744. Now, I tell the members exactly what we're looking to do there. The option had fallen 71%. We were only going to make an additional 29 cents. We go ahead, buy that option back where we got paid $122. We pay back $29. We alleviate the obligation. And now we can write another covered call. And one thing I want you to notice is that there was 14 days left in this trade. And that's the important thing I always try to share to my members. We pay for time and we get paid for time. To make 29 cents for 14 days, guess what? I can find another trade that pays me more than 29 cents in 14 days using this stock. And that's why I love to buy back my options and then we roll it to another trade. And here's the other trade we did. Now, this is about a 30-day trade. You can see it's 35 days. So this is going to percolate a little bit. I got paid about a buck oh two for this. I had eight contracts. We're going to make $816 or 5.43%. Now, I told the members exactly why we got involved in this trade. See, that's the key with my membership. You see the trade. You see why I get involved. So you can think about doing it. See, if you bought the shares in the first trade and did exactly as I did, you pocket the first premium just like me. Well, in this case, you would then roll this trade just like I did, and now we're doing it again. This time, the projected cover call profit's going to be $816, and we're going to do it again. And you can see down here for me, my leaps call option, if my shares are taken away, will be profitable which means I'm gonna make these two covered call premiums, the $744 and the $816, and my leaps call option will be profitable. This trade, if the stock finishes at 38.50, will actually turn out to be a very popular trade. And I'll tell you what, I'm dialing up the uh, chart right now because I wanna show you where TNA is trading and why I feel so comfortable with this. TNA is trading in its range, its recent range. We've always talked about this. You wanna find a stock's sandbox. I would love a stock to trade at the bottom of the Keltner channel, but in this case, it's not. And you could see this is uh, its trading range. So when it's trading in and around its bottom of its range, well, that's where we can get involved. We could buy shares or buy a leaps call option. We could write a cash secure put. And if it trades based on its range, you could see how the stock moves back towards the top of its range. Now, I know this is super obvious, but again, this chart is super obvious. This is the Keltner channel shows a stock's trading range. And I love using it because what we can do, if anything, this trade could pass the eye test. The eye test to me is here's your trading range. Where are we at? And you could see for the most part, every time it's at the bottom of the range, it finds itself at the top of the range. Now you say to yourself, John, this isn't a stock. This is an ETF to the index. Okay. Well, this is what the Russell is doing. And the Russell trades in a trading range. Play the range. This is where you'll have favorable trades. And this is where I put this trade on right here. Bottom of its range. Bottom of what I believe is going to be its near-term range. Does it go lower? We've actually seen TNA cross 24. Recently, it's almost gotten as low as 30. So of course it could go lower, but what I'll tell you is this, it's also gotten to 40 and 42 as well. So we find the range and I'm very good at finding those ranges. I send these kind of videos to my members. They get to see all of this. If you want to join, I got a one free month offer for you in the description. Now well, look, what I'm going to tell you is this. When we have these profits, the profits I just showed you, the $744 profit on the first trade, the $816 profit on this last trade, we turn around and we buy the dividend paying stock. 
that dividend paying stock is going to pay us a cash dividend. And what's going to happen is we put money into our investment, our investment's going to pump out more cash. And guess what you could do with that cash? You can plant another dividend tree. Do you see how this works? This is the most brilliant idea I've come up with, and I'm actually doing it. I started this back in mid-February, and now we have some four and five dividend paying stocks generating right now $4,400 a month where before I had none, okay? Next month's gonna be 5,400. After that, 6,400, 7,400, repeat, repeat, repeat. Could you imagine standing there doing this over a course of a year and generating $10,000 in passive monthly income? I mean, you do nothing. You're literally probably making more with your dividend income than you are at your nine to five. Hey, look, this sets us up. So when you decide to retire, which I retired when I was 55 and we immediately became a professional selling premium trader and dividend stock buyer. Now we have that in place. That is when you have true financial freedom. Hey, look, I want you to find your financial freedom. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment. If you want to be a member, I got a one free month offer in the description. You have access to me. You can email me any question you have. Hey, look, be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.